Today, we are going to be naming the ionic compound FeOH3. Now here's a little trick, guys. If you see that you have three different elements, or three or more different elements in your compound, you know that you're dealing with at least one polyatomic. In this case, we have the three elements. We have Fe for iron, we have O for oxygen, and H for hydrogen. Always spot out the polyatomic first and then work from there. But the hard part is that polyatomics are never going to be on the periodic table. You always have to memorize them. So that's why I wrote down the polyatomic we're going to see here. So use flashcards or do whatever you got to do to just memorize these, okay? So anytime that you see an OH, right, for ionic compounds, it will always have a negative one charge, and it's always called hydroxide. So here is my polyatomic, OH hydroxide. Now, the only thing I have to identify is the iron, and iron, Fe, is a metal because it's right here on the periodic table. Anything in this block is a metal, is a transition metal. So let's start naming. The metal name always stays exactly the same. So since this was iron on the periodic table, it stays iron. And since this is a polyatomic, polyatomic names stay the same. But it's just harder because you have to memorize them. And OH is always hydroxide. So I'll say hydroxide. But now, since it's ionic, just do a check. Do I need a Roman numeral or not? Yeah, I do, because iron is in this group. So I need a Roman numeral. But how are we going to find the Roman numeral? It's pretty simple. The Roman numeral is always the charge of the metal. So what we're going to do is we're just going to crisscross the subscripts of the metal and the polyatomic to see what the charges are. There was one iron and three total hydroxides. So this one crisscrosses up, telling me that OH was a minus one. And this three crisscrosses up, telling me that the iron is a plus three. Now just do a check. Does this check out? Yeah, OH is always a negative one charge. So if this checks out, this has to check out. And the charge of the iron was a plus three. So what I have to put in my Roman numeral, if I could just like maybe squeeze this a little bit, I just have to put a three, Roman numeral. One, two, three. And now I am done. So FeOH3 is just iron three hydroxide. And there you go, guys. Hope for this helped. Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for viewing this video. I really hope I'm giving you great quality help here. And just let me know, all right? Uh, subscribe to the channel if you would like to. That will help us out tremendously. And as always, I hope you guys are having a great day. Let's keep studying hard. You guys got this, okay? See you later. Bye-bye.